Yo guys, what's up? It's Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video, and I am going to show you right now how to use a dung beetle to get yourself an unlimited amount of fertilizer. Now all you need is to build a little house, and I've got that ready for you. So you just need a couple of foundations. You can build it however you want. It does not matter. I'm going to tell you that ahead of time. A lot of people are like, oh, it needs to be a certain... It does not. Not at all. It can be however you want it to be. Oopsies, whatever. It doesn't matter. Now, what you're going to need... A dung beetle. Now obviously I've uh, force tamed a really really high level one so this is not something you'll have access to so just keep that in mind and then what you're gonna need is actually pretty easy you're just gonna need a two by one box and it's really not that difficult now if you really want to you can make it a couple taller it's up to you I really don't it doesn't matter to me at all that's just my personal opinion so build yourself a little box protect it as you can see and then make sure you have a door on this box now, obviously you can see I've built it a little fancy-ish, if you want to call it that. It's a three by three, two tall, one wide. You can open the door. Now, if you didn't know this already, usually I leave the door like this so I can close it quickly from the outside easier. Now what you're gonna do, pick up your dung beetle. Pretty easy so far. Now, again, if I'll take a quick break and tell you this if you don't mind. If you don't mind leaving a like and a subscribe if this helped you out, share it with your friends, share it with your buddies, whoever you want to share it with, that'd be awesome. I appreciate all the support you guys have given so far. It's been awesome. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue here. So we've got the dung beetle. Now inside your inventory, make sure you have, oh, not metal, we don't want metal. We don't want that either. We just want a ton of poop of all kinds. Doesn't matter what type it is. Now what you're gonna do, look at his inventory, make sure he is on aggressive. That's the most important part. Sorry if I sound a little funny, I'm a little bit sick right now. So make sure he's on aggressive, you can see that. You're gonna go ahead and close the door. Now. You want to try and take away everything that's not necessary, like metal ceilings, all that kind of stuff. doesn't matter. Now, what you're going to do, really easy. Basically, I forgot to put a bed down. Let me put that down real quick. All right. Yes, obviously, you should be doing this inside your base. Don't, don't do this outside your base. That's a big mistake I almost made right there. So just a couple of beds right there. Now, once we have this done, you're going to go ahead and make sure you have all of the poop on you. Now, this is the important part. If the poop is not on you, that's going to be a problem. He needs to be on aggressive, and once you have him set up for this, basically it's really easy to make sure that it's on aggressive. I usually make sure his targeting range is on high. For some reason, it tends to help sometimes. And then all you're going to have to do, options, and then unclaim him. Now, once you unclaim him, he's going to go after you. And here's the cool thing. When he kills you, he's going to pick up every last bit of stuff in your inventory. So, obviously you can see, I've died. I'm gonna respawn on the beds. Now here's the pain in the butt part, because now you have to claim him without him just slaughtering you, which shouldn't be too bad. And there we go. Now check this out. This is, first off, it's like one of my favorite tricks. So you can see it right now. He has everything on him, all of the poop. And he is way encumbered. Look at his weight, 152 over 17. And what you do, really easy actually, take your stuff back. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Boop. Now, obviously, as you can see, all this stuff. Now, all you have to do this is the easy part. Go ahead and go to Enable Wandering. And he is going to constantly produce fertilizer using all of this poop. So you don't need 1,200 dung beetles. You don't need 1,000 dung beetles. This is how you use one dung beetle in order to get as much fert as you could ever want all of the fertilizers so hopefully this helps you out and if you don't mind leaving a like and subscribe it'd be much appreciated or if you're like yo do you have any tips for this that so on so forth let me know and i'll do what i can to help you figure that out so if you don't mind leaving that like teachers game two out